Leatherface's Mythic Chainsaw along with the Mythic Mephisto boss and Jigsaw's weapons as well just got fully revealed and we have early gameplay along with all the new map changes, secrets, free rewards, and everything you guys need to know in the Fortnite Nightmares 2024 update. And if you want to be gifted any of the new skins dropping into Fortnite's item shop, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and leave your epic usernames down in the comments below. And a big shout out to everyone using code NRPH in the item shop thank you so much for all the support so unfortunately for us the fort nightmares 2024 update actually ended up getting delayed and is now set to be released tomorrow but the good news is that the official fort nightmares 2024 trailer still ended up getting released earlier this morning so i'm gonna let you guys watch it real quick and then we will deep dive all the secrets easter eggs brand new mythic weapons and skins that you guys missed because there's tons of hidden secrets So diving right into all the Easter eggs, for starters, you guys can see that Jigsaw is actually going to have not one mythic weapon, but two different mythic weapons, which is very exciting. You guys can see we have actual footage of the upcoming Billy Boom Bike, which we now know thanks to this trailer is actually going to have many wings and fly around the map to a location that you set for it to target. And once it gets close enough, it's going to explode in the enemy's face, hopefully taking them out. We can also see here that a new bear trap mythic is also also in game and I think it's really funny that they use the cuddle team leaders head as the mythic design for this weapon but it basically puts a mask on your character with a fuse on the top which again I think explodes when you're near enemies or this could even be a preventative measure that helps protect you from the billy boom bikes that also try to explode in your face so we're gonna have to wait and see but I thought that was very very cool we can also see that the leather face boss NPC was showcased in this trailer he's most likely going to be located over at one of the new map changes that we will be covering later in the video and his mythic chainsaw actually has two different modes the first one we can see in this trailer is actually a melee lunge attack where the chainsaw essentially looks almost like the sword from chapter one season seven and it will lock onto enemies within a close enough range but the best part about this is it also has a mobility function where your character can actually stick it into the ground and ride it like a mini surfboard which based on the trailer looks like you can get some insane speed and who knows maybe if you run into enemies while using it like this the chainsaw will still cause damage so I think that's a really really cool feature for them to add the third confirmed boss NPC is our boy Mephisto which unfortunately was not showcased or seen in the official Fortnite Mares trailer which I thought was very very strange but I think that's Epic's way of making him more of a secretive main background character for the storyline and although we don't have any footage of his upcoming mythic weapon or ability we do know that his MP PC will have special offers where you can actually trade your health and HP for different weapons. For trading 20 HP, you're actually going to get a random weapon that can be any rarity. For 40 HP, it will actually give you a random Fortnite Mares or Halloween augment. And for 99 of your HP, it will reboot your entire team. And again, Mephisto could have his own mythic weapons, but they are not showcased or seen in the trailer, so we don't know much yet. Also, make sure to add us on Snapchat for more giveaways, daily news, and special item shop gifting. This trailer also revealed a ton of new skins and cosmetics that we should be receiving across this Fortnite Mares update over the next month. The first of which is Edward Scissorhands, which we could actually see him trimming up an ice glacier over at the Grand Glacier Point of Interest. This is one of those collab skins that data miners did not know about, so it was a surprise to all of us, and I think a good one at that because that movie is awesome. And as a side note, those scissors could end up being a mythic weapon, but most likely that's just going to be the pickaxe, a part of his cosmetic set. We also have 
our first in-game look at the Pumpkin King and Sally, who are actually over at, again, one of the new points of interest where their new NPCs are most likely going to be located. So they look really, really cool. And we actually have our first in-game look at the upcoming Disney villain skins that we already knew were going to be coming during the Fortnite Mares event, thanks to the D23 live stream where they teased it a few months ago. You guys could see that Captain Hook, Corella DeVille, and Maleficent are all going to be coming into this year's Fortnite Mares event as cosmetic bundles in Fortnite shop. And just like always, we do gift people in every single video. So make sure you guys reply with your epic usernames if you want a chance to be gifted any of the new skins because there's so many cool ones. And we also get our first look at the Andy Fangerson skin, which is actually from the brand new Brick or Tree event pass, which unfortunately is meant for Fortnite's Lego mode, which I know a lot of you guys do not care about or play that much. But regardless, it gives you a in-game look at that skin, which obviously is the premium track reward. So for any of you guys that were contemplating spending a thousand V-Bucks to get all of the bonus Brick or Treat rewards, including Andy Fangerson, this gives you a better look and maybe can help you decide whether or not it's worth it. But diving into the map changes, we did know that three major POI changes were going to be taking place, and luckily for us, this trailer revealed all of them. The first of which is Reckless Railways, which you guys can see is now turned into a spooky farm point of interest, which I absolutely love. The second major map change is located over at Mount Olympus, which is now turning into a giant pumpkin patch point of interest with huge pumpkins everywhere and massive rideable vines that you're able to grind on, so it seems Seems like this POI is getting drastically changed and based off the official key art this is the POI that was in the background with the giant pumpkins which I think is really really cool and most likely for all our new mythic bosses and weapons they will all be located at these three new points of interest we also have six landmark changes that are going to be coming but this trailer unfortunately doesn't showcase any of those now finally we can see a quick glimpse at Grand Glacier which is revamped to be a horror mansion of some sort which I thought was really really cool and it's also worth noting that during the part that showcased the jigsaw mythic weapons you can see in the background that Mephisto actually turned the river sticks water from that dark weird tealish green to a red and this basically is to show that Mephisto actually got a hold of Hades soul which means they made a deal and again I think Mephisto not being shown in this trailer really plays into the background storyline and lore of how sneaky he's going to be at corrupting Fortnite's island especially now that Dr. Doom is gone, rifted away into another reality, Mephisto is the main villain and enemy that we have to worry about on the island right now. We also see a few of the new upcoming weapons getting unvaulted in this trailer that confirm them. For instance, we could see the pumpkin launcher and the wood stake shotgun getting used while the character is riding the vines over at the Mount Olympus POI. And we could also see during this part of the trailer that revealed the upcoming Reckless Railways map change that the train is also getting updated to be a ghost train which looks amazing you could also see in that same frame that the upcoming Lexa Lundberg skin is also riding the witch's broom which this Fortnite Mares event is actually going to have a red variant it's pretty self-explanatory as to why but again it's because Mephisto is such a big part of this year's Halloween event but with all that being said that is all I got for you guys in today's video let me know down in the comments of all the new collaboration skins mythic bosses new mythic weapons map changes and much more what you guys are most excited for in the Fortnite Mares update dropping tomorrow, unless of course there is more delays, which fingers crossed there is not because I know we are all excited to get our hands on all these new mythics and awesome stuff coming. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy my friends.